Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm the Survival Architect and in the next episode of my single player Survival World, I'll be showing this contraption off. This is a tileable shulker box loader, um, but I felt that after I designed it, I needed to make some sort of tutorial for this because I don't really see that many designs out there for tileable versions of this, this contraption. They're normally things that can fit in like a two wide space or a three wide space, but aren't actually tileable. So in this episode, in this video, I am going to show you how to build this, and we will get and also explain to you in simple terms how this whole thing works. So this is obviously the shulker a shulker box. You can store items in it, and then you can break the box, and those items stay in the shulker box rather than the, tr the traditional chest, spewing their items everywhere. Now, a couple of properties with these shulker boxes, they can be broken with a piston, like that. When they have items in them, a comparator can detect those items, so this only has a signal strength of 2, but when it's full, it goes all the way out to 15, which is all the way out here. The other thing is, they can also be dispensed by a dispenser. So, if I power this, it places the shulker box. That's the basics of how shulker boxes work and the whole idea behind this contraption up here. Part of the contraption that you might have seen is this section just here. The uh, redstone block with one, uh, well, with redstone dust on top of it leading into a normal block. Now, with the comparator there, which I'm just going to grab from over here, um, pointing into it, this redstone block provides a power output of 15 signal strength. If I go into my F5 mode, you can see over on the right-hand side of the screen, power is 15. Um, now, that means that over here, the power will be 14, which you can see, again, over on the right-hand side of my screen. When the shulker box is full, it obviously outputs a signal strength of 15. So... This comparator powers this block, which in turn powers this redstone dust with signal strength 15. So that causes an update in this redstone dust, which is the purpose of this observer here. It detects the change in uh, uh, the change in state of this redstone dust. That change in state provides a redstone signal back into this hopper, which locks it, which this redstone, well, which this observer detects, which powers this redstone, which powers both of these pistons. Now uh, this normal piston here breaks the shulker box. This sticky piston moves this observer around, which powers these, this dropper and dispenser, and that places a new shulker box. To build this contraption, start with two observers facing downwards into the ground, not like that, like that. Then have two observers face into those. These will output power in this direction over here. Then you need three droppers, Place on top of each other like this, followed by a dispenser. Then, two solar blocks here and here. You then need a dispenser in either this space here, or a observer in either this space here or this space here. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you started in. I'm just going to put it here. Uh, this detects the update in when it's moved and powers these blocks here. You then need, on top of that, a sticky piston facing down into it. With a redstone repeater on the top. Then, uh, on the back of that, you need to place a piston that will extend over this block space here. Then, comes the front section of this contraption. You need comparator, hopper, and uh, some sort of solid block, redstone, blocks and a and normal redstone. So the hopper goes here and it must face in that direction. Then comparator on top of that with a solar block here. Redstone a redstone block here and then redstone dust on top of the two of those. Then to top off this contraption you need to place an observer there a hopper there, break that scaffolding block. Now that hopper must be facing downwards. 
and then observer here. This is the contraption complete. Um, if you want to fill these dispensers automatically, just slap hoppers here, and then on top of that, have a hopper line going across like this. Or it can be a water line if that's your thing. Um, there's no redstone around this area to properly break the only place where redstone could break is on the top here where I've got comparators and repeaters. Um, now, the output chain is kind of weird. It has to, it has to be in this exact configuration. This hopper chain must be in this configuration here, uh, with this hopper pointing in here, which points down there, which then can go any way you like. I personally put it out into a hopper chain that then goes off and does something else. This is to avoid the hopper that would be in this space here being powered by this redstone block and being locked. Um, that's why there is this second dispen this third dis uh, dropper on the bottom on the bottom here. Uh, it's simply to avoid hoppers being stupid with each other. So this keeps them entirely separate, makes it a bit bulkier, but I can't think of a way around it. Um, if you want to be just dumping your shulker boxes in a chest, having them fill up, and then getting an output, this is the only way to do it that I can think of. Someone else might have done it better. I don't know. But this is how I thought of doing it. So this is the contraption. That's how you build it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and build a set of these next to each other and then show you that they all work independently. A quick amendment to my tutorial, you actually have to place the um, observers that power your droppers in this position here, otherwise it won't break the shulker box. Um, I'm not 100% 100, 100 sure why that happens. Um, it might have something to do with when this is pulled up the first time by this piston, it powers this block here, which powers that. But I have, I, I just needed to address that because when I first went to record this clip, um, I tested it out and they're in the upper position and it didn't actually dispense a new shulker box. So it has to be in that configuration when you start it. Um, otherwise it won't work. So, I'm now going to show you that it works for all for your tileable system um, by sh demonstrating it in action. Just let me get it set up in just a moment. So here they are, five of them stacked up next to each other. Now, as I've just noted, this is right uh, is in the bottom position, ready to be powered. So I'm going to now these shulker boxes are full of minecarts and apparently tra trapped chests, but if I just slap one extra minecart in all of these, it should be good to go. So, if I place in just some empty shulker boxes on these positions here, they will all break at different times. Because they are all being filled up at, well, the same rate, but I place them at different times. So, the middle one should go first, about now, hello, followed by the, the second furthest, then the third furthest, then the second closest, then the closest. Well, it doesn't seem to be working. Because it's draining all the trap chests. Fucking sick. There goes one. And there goes some more. And apparently I had some shock boxes sitting in there. But there you go. So those two had shulker boxes sitting in the the dispenser and the other ones didn't and if I look in here there's a full shulker box in each of them some of these have extra shulker boxes from when I was testing out the system but it works this is the key bit though you have to have these in this bottom position otherwise it will not work but other than that this is the tileable shulker box loader um, it does not unload them you have to build a separate contraption for that. But this will load all of your farmed resources or whatever resources you, you want to be putting in here um, into shulker boxes and then send them off to whatever fate you want to with these hoppers. Um, thank you all very much for watching. I hope that this is a clear tutorial on how to build this system. Um, thank you all very much for watching again. 
Um, I've been the Survival Architect, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.